Greetings and blessings to all. This is Father Carlos Jose Rojas from Schoenstatt, Tampa Bay. It is my great delight to be able to share some words with you. Upon reflecting on the great job that our pilgrim mother has been doing here in Schoenstatt, Tampa Bay, you know, I've been reflecting and, and, and considering that the people today cannot afford losing their contact with God more and more. The more time passes, especially living in this modern world, it seems like this, there's, there's a distance, there's a loosening of the contact between us and God. There's also this, this losing contact with the church. Uh, the church cannot afford losing contact with God, but, but not just church losing contact with God, but also the church losing contact with the people in the world. And I think this is the key of what our Pilgrim Mother wants to do. Through the Pilgrim Mother, Mary wants to bridge the gap between church, God, and the people of God. She wants to, to bring together, to embrace what seems to be uh, such, uh, so, so distant to each other. Mary wants to come to our homes. She wants us to bring the experience of church in our homes. She wants us to bring the experience of God into our homes. She wants to come to our homes, to our lives, and to truly make of the church alive, starting with within the domestic church, the family. So through the pilgrim mother, by receiving Mary into our homes, we begin to receive special graces. It is uh, well known in the family of Schoenstatt that that when you visit a shrine, a Schoenstatt shrine, uh, you receive three very special graces. This grace of feeling at home, the grace of inner transformation, and this grace of fruitfulness, of apostolic fruitfulness. Those three same graces our Blessed Mother wants to bestow through the image of the Pilgrim Mother. Really, it's our Blessed Mother, as it is described in Luke chapter 1, verse 39. Mary set out and went in a hurry to the hill of country. Uh, this is the visitation. The, our Blessed Mother wanted to visit the, uh, her cousin Isabel. But that same spirit of Mary who goes in haste, goes to the country hillside, to the rocky mountains that she wants to be out there and bridge the gap, is the same mother that wants to work in our lives today, especially in these modern times, where more and more we feel this distance from the experience of God, from the experience of church, and the church distancing itself more and more from the people of God. So we need our Pilgrim Mother. We need her intercession. We need the special graces that she bestows in the original shrine of Schoenstatt, in the daughter shrines of Schoenstatt, and that she wants to bestow through the Pilgrim Mother. But I hope you and many others are or open to receive our Blessed Mother, our Pilgrim Mother, to come into their homes. And even more, that more Marian missionaries will be willing to take our Blessed Mother to accompany and to be the instruments that indeed help our Blessed Mother go in haste to the hill country and bridge the gap that we all so much need to be bridged. May our Blessed Mother help us, and may you be blessed as I now bless you. In the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.